because with seven minutes left in the game last night, Carmelo Anthony, he confronted a fan standing behind the row of courtside seats near center court at Wells Fargo Center. And Anthony said that the fan referred to him as, quote, boy, a word that carries a serious racially charged undertone when used in a specific way. So here was Carmelo Anthony last night after the game. There's just certain things you don't bring to any type of sporting event. It's just certain things you don't say to anybody. Uh, if I was outside and I bumped into you and you said that said those things to me, then it would be a totally different story. So, uh, but again, I'm it's, it's it's out of my hands now. So however however way they, they, they want to play it, they can play it. Joining me now is Lakers reporter Dave McMenamin. So Dave, you were at Wells Fargo Center last night, and we just heard Carmelo say that it's out of his hands. So whose hands is it in now? Well, Malika, it's not actually even in the Philadelphia 76ers hands. A Sixers spokesman told me that they leased the building from Wells Fargo. And so Wells Fargo Center security will be in charge of any further discipline. Um, you know, the, the Sixers spokesman told me that only one person was ejected from the game. And Carmelo, speaking to me and several other reporters, said there were several fans that were directing this charge type of language towards him. Actually, there was one after it seemed like the incident had dissipated, one sitting courtside was getting into it with Carmelo and Joel Embiid actually came over to intercept a Philadelphia fan. He was taking the side of the Los Angeles Lakers player. But I followed up with the security team from Wells Fargo Center, and I have yet to receive a response. Okay, so as for the Lakers, they're back at it tonight on ESPN at 7.30 Eastern when they play Charlotte, and they might be without all three of their big three. What else can you tell us? Yeah, well, so it, they are listed as questionable, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and Russell Westbrook. You also have Avery Bradley listed as questionable and Malik Monk out. Uh, but a team source tells me that it's more going to be a game time decision for that group. Now, yesterday, it was a surprise to a lot of us covering the team when LeBron James, who was on such a hot scoring streak, was dashed from the lineup. But a source told me then when I asked, is this something we got to be worried about? His explanation was year 19. And so to me, it was more of a rest and maintenance issue. Mm. LeBron James will test out his body tonight, see how that left knee feels. Same thing for Anthony Davis with his left knee uh, and Russell Westbrook with his right knee. And as you mentioned, all three of those guys officially listed as questionable. We'll see you a little closer to game time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.